Jeepers, cats! I just had a run with that Harvey Chain boy everybody's been talking about. Why, you just tried to... I think we've all met him, sir. Quite a challenging young man, I'd say. Ha! That's putting it politely. The kid's nothing but a rich brat. I know the breed. America is full of that kind. Boy needs a good vippy with a rope's end. All I know is that was I was that rude when I was his age, my father would have tanned my hide. I wouldn't want a boy like Harvey. I couldn't take a child like that. No, thank you, people. I'm sorry, but Harvey's a brat. He needs to learn a mental lesson in basic manners and respect. Now, truthfully, I'm only guessing, but it's too late. I suspect. That's what you call it, having money in your wallet. I'll just sleep on deck instead. <laughs> I wouldn't want a boy like Harvey. I couldn't take a job like that. No, thank you, people. I'm sorry. Sorry. Is he exaggerating? Hardly. Harvey's a brat. To make a little wager that he's suffering from wealth. He's probably never felt a rose end. Leave his sting on his behind. I know I keep that option open Titus loyalty is definitely spoiled, that it drives them off the wall. I wouldn't want a boy like Harvey. I couldn't take a child like that. No, thank you, people. I'm sorry. Sorry. John or Tim or Charlie. Charlie. No, I'm not exaggerating. Hardly. Spend some time alone with him. That's 
we couldn't take a shot like that. No breaking bad, and we're sorry. Sorry! It was the John and Jim, I'm sorry.
You mean I'm not dead? Oh, uh, no, no, big fish. You're not dead. <laughs> Where am I? Are you with me and me, Dory? Me name Manuel. I come from Schooner Ware here of Gloucester, huh? Gloucester. Is that like Hades or hell? <laughs> oh, no. Then you're not the Grim Reaper? No, I tell you. Me, Manuel. Great. The Grim Reaper with bad English. <laughs> by and by we get supper, eh? What? Bad music, too. This has got to be a nightmare. <laughs> Just wake up any minute now. There she is. We're here, call to us. Hey, we go board and you'll feel better after supper and rest. Hey, what? There was a big storm. Don't you believe me? <laughs> you funny. <laughs> down and see him if you're so anxious that way. He says he wants you to take him to New York right away. You hear that? Quit fooling, Dan. Send him up to me. <laughs> Good morning. Good afternoon, I should say. You're nice enough to talk around, young God. Well, tell us all about it. What might your name be and where are you bound? My name's Harvey. Harvey Chain Jr. I was bound for Paris on the Atlantic Star. He says they hit a gale and he rolled over the rail. It was a gale. Everyone was being washed overboard. <laughs> well, there was a little common swell yesterday and last night. But if that's your notion of a gale, <laughs> you'll know more before you're through. Yeah, can't say we think special of any man or boy, even that goes over the board. That sort of packet and flat calm. Especially when there's excuse that a gale blew your head. Excuse? Do you think I'd fall into this dirty old boat for fun? Well, not knowing what your notions of fun might be, <laughs> what do you say, young fella? <laughs> but I will say that if I were you, I wouldn't call the boat who under Providence was responsible for saving your names. So you met my boy, Dan? I'm just so true, captain of the weir here, Gloucester, which you don't seem rightly to know. I don't know, and I don't care. Let me make one thing clear up front. The sooner you take me to New York, the better it'll pay you. Need it? Dollars and cents. Cold dollars and cents. You did the best day's work in your life when you pulled me in. Now, take me to New York. Mm, yeah. Couldn't pay me enough to go there. Uh. <laughs> you listen to me. I'm all the son Harvey Chain has. Yes, well, thank God for that. <laughs> My father owns half of California, all the rail lines and loan companies. And if you don't know who Harvey Chain is, you don't know much. Now turn us around and hurry. Take a refill in your stomach again, fella. Oh, my bills. Well, we'll pay for that, too. Yeah. Railroads and uh, loan companies. Half California. <laughs> uh, I've heard some fish tales in my time, but... Whew. I've been on every package in the North Atlantic Sea. I know all of the fishermen, and all of them know me. And when we get together, there's some hearty tales told. I've heard so many stories, you could fill a schooner's hold. Oh, I've heard some stories in my day, and boy, my days are many. I've heard some tall ones in my time, but yours tops them all. Fishermen tend to bend the truth a little beyond its bounds And somehow a cot is as big as a house Or a minnow weighs fifty pounds Oh, I've heard some tall ones in my time But your tale tops
How's that? Oh, you know very well how. And on top of that, you expect me to do menial work? I can't tell you. I won't, do you hear me? I said, do you hear me? <laughs> Going on and over in my head, my responsibilities myself. It's a matter of judgment. Don't go tampering with Dad no more. You called him a thief two or three times over, and he'll take that from any living being. Oh, shut up! Who asked you, anyways? I can't tell you, I won't! Throw me back overboard if you want to, but I won't lift a finger aboard this dirt barrel of a boat except to set it ablaze with the whole lot of you aboard. Young fella, I reckon you're not too old for what you've asked for. <laughs> 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 that crazy man, he tried to kill me. <laughs> A poor defenseless child. <laughs> Why, I'll show him. If my father hears about this, he'll buy this whole boat just for the fun of sinking it. But wait till my mother hears. Boy, she'll. She'll. Oh, it's no use. They don't even know I'm alive, let alone where I am. I don't even know where I am. Should have drowned. Anything would be better than this. Some dirty old barge called the Weir here. What kind of name is that for a ship?
Sullivan. My name is Mrs. Lawton. I thought Mrs. Chain shouldn't be left alone at a time like this. As you know, Mr. Chain is in California. Thank you, Mrs. Lawton. Is there any news? That's why I asked you here, madam. As you know, we are in the middle of the North Atlantic, a thousand miles from any land. And my crew has searched every inch of this ship uh, since the Pardon me, war. Captain, but can you please get to the point? This poor woman has been through too much already. One of my pursers found these yesterday afternoon by the afterdeck railing. $124 and a cigar butt. One of my officers, Mr. McDonald, informed me that he had seen Harvey smoking a cigar and flashing a wad of bills shortly before you reported him missing. I thought by now we would have found him somewhere else on the ship. But I must conclude he's fallen overboard. I wish I had better news, Mrs. Chain. On behalf of my crew, let me... But, Captain, is there any chance he could have survived the fall? The fall, perhaps, but these waters are very cold. A man could last maybe ten minutes, a boy less. I'm afraid there's little chance he survived. Oh, but, Captain, that little chance is all that this poor woman has. If we turn the Atlantic Star around and give her full steam, could we be back on the Grand Banks by... I'm sorry. That's just not possible. This is a very big ocean. There's no chance we'd find him alive or dead. I'm sorry. What do you want? I warned you. <laughs> that ain't no ways hasty, but you fair earned it. I know the feeling. First time Dad laid me out was the last, and well, that was all my first trip. That man's either crazy or drunk. Don't say that about Dad. He set again all liquor. And, well, he told me you was the madman. I'm not crazy. Only your father has seen no more than a five dollar bill at a time. And my father could buy this boat once a week and never miss the money. You don't know what the weird hair is worth. It doesn't matter what it's worth. If it's worth anything at all. Now, just a minute. She's the finest of a fleet. Fleet? You mean there's more good people out here? <laughs> Take me back to New York. People are normal there. <laughs> there you go again with that money talk. Money does talk. Only your dad doesn't speak the language. Dad's an honest man, and all the fleet knows it. Yeah, honest and poor. Well, my dad's honest too. But he spends a million dollars a day like it was pocket money. So Colorado needs another rail line? Well, let's get started tomorrow. That's how he does things. It doesn't matter what it costs. Whew. Your dad must have a pile of money. Where did he get it? <laughs> Gold mines and things out west. I've heard of the west. Does he go around with a pistol and a trick pony? Same as Buffalo Bill? <laughs> You're a chump. <laughs> My father has no need for ponies. When he wants to ride, he takes his car. His car? You've seen a car sometime in your life, haven't you? Well, Slatin Demon has one, but he owns about everything on Long Island, they say. He he's a millionaire. Well, my father's a multi-millionaire, and he owns two private cars. Hold on. Dad, don't let me swear, but I guess you can. Say you hope you'll die if you're lying. Hope I die right here. Uh, they didn't, that didn't enough. Say, hope I may die if I ain't telling the truth. May lightning strike me down right here and now. If every word I've spoken isn't the honest truth. $124 in all? Now that I recall, I think it was $144. Gosh! Maybe Dad's made a mistake for once in his life. Oh, he'll be mad clear through. He just hates to be mistook in his judgments. Oh, Harvey. Don't go spoiling the catch by letting on. No. <laughs> I've made a few broken bones to go with this. This <laughs> is wrong. The wrong is kind of wrong about Dad. I guess you're kind of mad at him. Oh, but he's a mighty just man. All the fleet says so. Yeah, it looks like justice, don't it? I'll never sit down again. You call that justice? <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing. Dad did it for your health. He'd rather have you back in your right mind than have your money. And when it comes to earning his respect, he's more moved by a man's decency than any money. He is, huh? Well, I guess for a fellow just saved from drowning, I haven't been over and above grateful. Now, have I? Ah, uh, you were shook up, silly. Besides, there was only me and Dad aboard to see. The rest are out fishing. 
Where is your father? Uh, on deck. <coughs> what do you want to do? You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.